Hi everybody, this is Holly from Hot Humble Pie. Welcome to my channel if you're new and a big warm hello to my subscribers. I love you guys. Well today I am bringing you some new Valentine Day decor and of course you can leave a lot of this stuff up all year round. It's totally up to you and as always I hope you enjoy the show. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel I'd love it if you click that button. We've got these awesome Dollar Tree hearts that, well, I think they're very pretty just in of themselves, except for the cheesy love part on it. I don't like that part. And thankfully that part comes off really easy. You can see I'm just popping it off. There was a little bit of glue behind. Most of it I could pick off with my nail. I did have to use some tweezers for some of it, but look at that. You don't really damage the paper. So if you don't like the cheesy love part and you do like that print, because that matches your home decor theme, go ahead and leave that print on. I'm gonna go ahead and use the back of this to try and make it match my home decor a little bit better. So we're gonna start with taking off the two back staplers and this is a printable I have down below in my description box. And I went ahead and dragged that into my Word program. I use OpenOffice, it's a free download online. And you just open up a text document like you're gonna type something, a letter or something like that. And you can drag these images into that document and then grab the edge of them, pull and drag, and make them big, small, medium, whatever you want. In this case, I decided to go ahead and make a grouping of four of them. So you can see there's like four little squares in that box there of that print, so that I would have enough paper to cover all of this heart. So I went ahead and printed two because I'm gonna to need to use half of the paper on one side of the heart and the other half on the other side of the heart. I'm a big fan of the Dollar Tree glue sticks. I talk about them frequently on my channel because they're dirt cheap and they work great. But for some reason, my Dollar Tree was sold out. So I went ahead and picked up a Elmer's glue stick from Walmart. Now this was the jumbo size one and it I didn't notice it when I bought it, but I noticed afterwards that this was called Extra Strength. So I, I think that's probably a good thing. <laughs> but that's what we're using today. And after I glued everything down, I went ahead and took a nail file. I buy the nail files in bulk from Amazon and they're the ones used for acrylic nails. So they're really rough and gritty like sandpaper. They probably are sandpaper. And I just sanded the edges to get a nice clean edge with the paper. Now I'm taking these Dollar Tree hearts. You can find them in the Valentine Day Decor section still as of this recording. And I'm gonna take one of the skewer sticks from the Dollar Tree and gently push it through from the bottom to the top. You just have to go really slow with this and try and aim for the center at the top there. And I went ahead and I did a total of well, I did 13, but I did extra just in case these little guys crumble or fall apart. They are a little temperamental that way, so I just wanted to make sure I had more than enough. And that was a good number to start with. I went ahead and used apple barrel paint for this entire craft right here. I used the white to paint the one you know, skewer stick, and then I used antique parchment and I painted the other ones. And they did require two coats. In some cases, the I don't know what it was, some didn't take the paint as well, so I had to do three coats. But when we were all done, we had a white set and a cream set. So the reason I went ahead and painted one white is because the pink starting, you know, the starting color pink was a little bit brighter than I wanted, so I just wanted a good neutral base to start with. I didn't have a light enough pink in my paint, so as you saw, I went ahead and mixed it up. I just put one drop of super bright pink into white paint, and we're gonna make these a nice soft pastel pink. And there I go with my third coat of antique parchment on the hearts. These are some wooden hearts that I got from Walmart for $1. I think you can find these at the Dollar Tree too, but they usually have a hole at the top. So this time I wanted them without the hole. And this is just located in the where you would find the yardage, the material or the craft supplies in Walmart. And I started off painting it the bright pink color because again, I don't have a light pink color, but then I just dry brushed the white over it and then put some of the antique parchment paint in the center. 
Here I made a bow using the Dollar Tree burlap ribbon that has the lace in the center and then the pink burlap ribbon and then the lace ribbon and then the little gingham print in a hot pink color there. Those are all from the Dollar Tree. And if you want to know how to make my bows, I have a video called 10 Christmas Bows. It's a fantastic video. It's time stamped. It covers every bow, including some I've never even made on a craft and great little hacks there, easy to follow. So here I put a little dot of hot glue in the top of the heart and you'll see me push the Dollar Tree twine. This is the twine that comes on a spool and I start screwing it into the heart. It's a really clever way to get it to go all the way down into the heart with the glue and then it stays nice and firm. And that's how I got all of them to look like they're, you know, like the twine's actually coming out of the, well, it is actually coming out of the hearts. <laughs> now I'm using the Dollar Tree little stick on stickers there. And I did this last year. I love this method. I use the sticky side and I'll press it down on cloth or paper and have a nice design that way. And I just wanted a little heart in the center of the wooden heart. And then I went ahead and glued some twine on the back for a hanger. And now I'm just using a little bit of fire so I can burn off all those extra hairy little furs. And this is something I like to do. I like to have the best side of the hearts face forward. So I will tack my hearts down with most of my crafts that hang loosely. I don't just let them hang. I strategically place them and tack them where I want them to be so it looks graceful and pretty and the best side is showing. These are also some beautiful roses that I got at the Dollar Tree. I decided to cover the center of the ribbon with two of those roses. And then I decided to take some nutmeg brown from Apple Barrel and just go ahead and distress this entire craft. You know, I kind of stood back and looked at it and I thought, I still like it distressed better. So I do the edge of this heart. I do the edges of each one of the little hearts that cascade down. And then I'm also going to do the actual frame heart on the inside and the outside. Lastly, I'm going to do some light dry brushing on the front of the hearts, the ones that face forward. And that's it, we're all done. And this came up so beautiful. Due to popular demand, I am doing a coffee can craft. I try to include these whenever I can because I know it's really popular on my channel. So I am painting this can with apple barrel acrylic paint. I was really nervous about how that was going to turn out, but I didn't have any other paint and it ended up working out great, but there's some tricks and tips and I'll let you know as we go. I painted it with white, let it dry, then I used apple barrel antique parchment over that for a second coat and that was a free printable you saw right there i'm just gonna trim it down so it fits the coffee can that will be down below in my description box there's a link you click it will take you right to it and here's the mod podge now you do have to use mod podge for these coffee can crafts the glue stick doesn't really work for these you need to really push them down into the grooves and for that you need a wet um, adhesive so i'm just taking um and turning my sponge sideways there to make sure that there's not too much of the Mod Podge in the grooves. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it down and then I take a clean sponge. It's not really damp, it's a little bit wetter than damp. So it's, it's not slopping wet because you'll make the ink or you might make your ink smear. So you just want it a little bit wetter than damp. And then you press as hard as you can in the grooves gently don't rub or anything just press and that should take care of the wrinkles and here's the mod podge spray now this is what you do with a, if you're using acrylic paint because if you paint the mod podge over it you'll you're going to risk lifting the paint because it's not as you know it doesn't as here i usually use like a latex paint which adheres really well because it's mixed with primer so with latex it was a little bit more delicate so that's how I handled that I just sealed it with a spray paint varnish and that Mod Podge one is great and then I took a Dollar Tree heart painted it white distressed the edge there with nutmeg brown you saw what I did and now I'm taking some of the Spanish moss I got this Spanish moss on Amazon the link will be down below in my description box I really love it it's very thick and beautiful and there's no Spanish moss at my Dollar Tree right now that light pastel pink rose those are from Walmart the vine that I'm holding is from Walmart 
and the roses with the pink tips both both colors there are from the Dollar Tree and the boxwood is from Amazon that's a very good deal actually on the boxwood so that's also down below in my description box and we're sticking with a theme here so we're going to use a gig and print ribbon again and the lace I'm going to go ahead and make two little bows on top of each other tie them together with the Dollar Tree twine and glue it on the top of that hanging heart and all I did with that heart is tie some twine through it and loop it around one of the stems of those roses and this came up so pretty it's such a simple craft but it's really stunning in real life I don't know if you saw the saying on there a rose from you it's just perfect and I I really love this one found this cute little guy at the Dollar Tree and it's real metal and looks awesome. You can use this for a tiered tray decor or just a little accent piece anywhere in your house, on a shelf, on a windowsill. It's so, I currently have this actually on my kitchen windowsill, but I'm not really a glitter girl. So I'm taking some paint, again, an apple barrel and I'm painting over that heart. It did require three coats. You just take your time and it gets covered and looks beautiful. I'm gonna give it a quick blow dry and then I'm gonna use the nutmeg brown again. Oh, no, this is not nutmeg brown. I apologize, this is actually burnt umber. I'm going to take burnt umber and distress the edge of the heart. So it matches the envelopes. So normally I distress my envelopes along the edges like that. And the Dollar Tree did it perfectly for me. It was already done. So all I had to do was just distress the edge of the heart and make it tie in with the rest of the envelope. And then I did a very soft dry brush over the top. I'm going to go ahead and fill this envelope with some Spanish moss and some greenery and a rose and just it's just a super cute fast easy valentine day little craft decor piece i add a little bow on top as well you can see what i'm doing right there and this also comes up absolutely adorable i love this craft i just wanted to take this moment too and thank all of my subscribers for their patience and love these last few months and always you guys are always so wonderful i wasn't well i really didn't have a studio for the last six months and was having a hard time finding a place to settle and set one up and it was actually kind of scary but you guys were so supportive and i want to make sure that i say thank you and we are getting the ship rocking and rolling again <music> For this next project, I'm using one of these trucks from the Dollar Tree that I got during the fall season. Now if you don't have this truck or if you're one of my international viewers, you can easily find this image online and cut it out in a cardboard or foam board and then just put some of that joint compound on top of it to smooth it out and recreate this craft if you really want to. So don't let that stop you. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, go check out my video on how to make a faux wood sign. So you saw there I used some parchment paper to trace out a little bit of the image on top of the truck there so I didn't forget what it looked like. Then I gave it a quick coat of my white primer by Kills, K-I-L-Z, and I put some carbon paper down and then traced the truck imagery back down onto the truck. I'm not that good of an artist, you guys, when it comes to drawing, so I have to trace the imagery a little bit, even if it's just shadows, so I have some idea where I need to go back and recreate those lines and that design so it actually looks like the back of the truck. I didn't have quite the right color I was after, so I ended up having to mix three colors together to get a really light, soft, tan color. I was kind of after like a sandy color, and I just recreated the truck, and now I'm using a permanent marker in brown 
and I'm drawing out my little back rear lights there on the truck and I'm taking some of the primer actually no this isn't I'm sorry I used plain acrylic paint for this part and I'm just lightly dry brushing over all of that creamy color I put just soften it up a little bit and age and distress it now for the tires I end up putting down burnt umber first and then I thought ah, that's too brown so I do go over it with black and it actually was slippery and shiny and the paint bristles put little scratches in it I don't know if you can see that but it looks great it looks like natural tread in a tire so I was really pleased with how that came out and now I'm just using a little black to edge that truck so here's my foam little hearts from the Dollar Tree. These are little foam stickers that come in a package during Valentine's Day at the Dollar Tree. They're way too bright for my liking. I was inspired by this photo here from the Hobby Lobby. I thought this was a super cute little craft. It's just way too bright for my decor. So I'm taking some white acrylic paint and I'm going to go over these hearts here and make them really cloudy and soft and they come out in pinks and creams and that's just more my beat. Now they do have a piece of paper on the back of them. They're super sticky. I didn't realize that. I was hot gluing them on in, for another project I did and you don't need to. They, I stuck it down during this crafting session here on something and I could not get it off without tearing the hearts. So warning if you guys do get these hearts, they really mean business when you stick them down. So take your time and make sure you plan well where you want them. And this is what we end up with. Now I'm just taking a little bit of this antique wax here and I'm going to distress and make these hearts look really old. I think paint would work, ink would work. You'd have to be really careful about how much you have on your sponge because you could overdo it. I chose the wax because it's really slimy and it gives you a lot of leeway to make a mistake. You can actually wipe it off with a paper towel in case you've overdone it and that's kind of a nice option to have. And now I'm just going to go about placing these hearts where I want them to be in the back of this truck. I'm using a little bit of super glue to put down this Valentine's Day word. I believe this comes from the Dollar Tree, but I'm not 100% sure because it was part of a craft supply box a wonderful subscriber sent me who wishes to remain unnamed. Thank you so much. And that's it. I'm just gluing it on the back and I think this came up so cute. You'll need three Dollar Tree votive candles, some cardboard hearts, some Spanish moss, and this material that I found on Amazon, but you can use any kind of material you want, or you can even use craft paper if you'd prefer. I found these four by four pieces of fabric on Amazon. I thought they were perfect for Valentine's Day projects. So I started off using that aerosol spray glue that I talked about in the last shop with me video that was fantastic. It is a little bit more watery than Mod Podge and much easier to work with. As you can see, I can lift the heart up, I can put it back down. You'll see later here where it's not quite high enough on the heart. I want the edges of my heart to be covered. And so I just slide the material up really easy. And I really, really liked it for this kind of application. Now here you see me spraying the edges of the cloth and I would recommend you skip that part. My goal was to seal the two pieces of fabric together because you don't want to see the edges. I am doing both sides of the cardboard hearts. But 
when it dried and I cut and trimmed around, it ended up kind of coming apart in places anyway. And I still had to go around, you know, with hot glue, like you do kind of when we make pillows with DIYs and we use hot glue. I still ended up doing that anyway. So save your glue if you buy this and just use it just to apply the material onto the cardboard. Once they're all dry, I'm just kind of grouping them together in the groups that I like. And I'm putting, of course, my favorite prints on the front. The backs will be covered and they are very pretty. They're just not my favorite prints. So I'm doing that so that they face forward. And you can see what I'm talking about right here. Even though I glued these together, some of them stuck together, but some of them didn't. And I did end up having to go around just like this with hot glue and squeeze them together. No big deal. It made a perfect little seam on the edge of your heart. And when working with cardboard, that's a really important part, in my opinion, is covering those edges. Because once you do that, no one can tell that you're working with cardboard and the craft looks very expensive. And now I'm just going to put a small dot of hot glue and stack each one of these hearts on top of each other. One of my favorite things to do with the Dollar Tree mop, which I actually prefer over yarn because it does have more of a primitive look and a rustic look. That's just kind of my style. I like it to kind of look a little bit more rough around the edges. I love to use these for bows and add it into bows, especially for Valentine decor. I don't know why I did it last year and it came up so pretty and I kind of do it even during Easter. I just love the yarn. Well, this kind of yarn because it's kind of furry and fuzzy. I, you know, it actually would be pretty for Christmas too because it's kind of got that furry look. It kind of goes with the, like a winter theme or a Christmas theme as well. But I make little bows first putting the yarn down but I want to put a pearl in the middle. So to avoid the bulk, I'm using the Dollar Tree lace ribbon now, and you can see how I'm going about making this bow. I did not include this kind of bow in my recent bow video, but this is a great way to keep your bows flat and pretty so you can add the middle. Next, we're going to take and add a little bit of the Burnt Umber paint into a spray bottle, also from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna give it a good shake and I'm gonna spray these to kind of antique them and make them look older. Now, this isn't for everyone. You can skip this part if you want to. Again, it's my style and I just love to do that. I don't really want the material to look totally brand new. I like it to look a little antiqued. Now you can also soak your fabric in tea or coffee or even water down a brown paint to get the same effect. I go for the spray bottle, one, because it's super fast and easy, and two, it gives an uneven result, which is more natural looking if something is gonna age and get kind of dirty. It doesn't usually do it all over. It kind of does it in sections and on the edges. So, you know, that kind of thing. And I'll tell you, the squirt bottle is a great fast way. If you ever make coffee filter roses or anything like that, I made 200 of those once for a wedding. I laid them down on a tarp in my garage and put the watered down paint in a huge spray bottle and it worked perfectly. So great fast way to get color onto absorbent crafts. So I put a little hot glue inside the votive to hold the Spanish moss down. Then I put some glue on top of that to hold the heart in place so it stands up straight. And I did this for all three. And I think that this project came up so beautiful. It came, well, it came out exactly the way I was envisioning it. For this next DIY, you're going to need a frame of some kind, a free printable that I designed, some paper of your choice, and some of the Dollar Tree hearts. I found this at Ross on clearance for $2.49, and I'm just going to remove those two items off of the frame. Now I have some sanding to do, so I'm going to sand it nice and smooth. I'm going to cut out my image again. I designed this image using a combination of many images online and made my own on canva.com. It's a great place to do that and that will be available for you under free printables down below in my description box below my video along with other free printables from today's video. 
and I'm using some Mod Podge. I'm just brushing it on the front and I'm going to press this down. Now I did print this up on cardstock because I wanted it to be nice and hardy and I definitely didn't want any bumps or lumps on this piece. Once it's dried, I'm using a very sharp utility knife just to cut off most of the excess. If you don't have a sharp knife, don't do that because you might tear it. And then to finish it off, I'm using sandpaper just to make sure my edges are nice and clean. And here's a little nice trick I thought up while I was crafting and was excited to share with y'all. I'm not a big fan of the felt hearts. I just don't think they look very expensive and classy. And what you can do, because the sides where the sticker is, is so, so sticky, is that you can stick the sticky side down on whatever craft paper or fabric or whatever you want, and then cut them out and glue them on the opposite side. And you'll end up with a much more expensive looking, finely tuned to your style, little bit of garnish for your other craft and DIY projects. So that was fun. Now I cut out six of those all together because I also cut out small cardboard hearts and I wanted both sides of them to be covered. And now I'm using the other half of the Dollar Tree lace ribbon that I had cut down the center to cover the edges of these hearts. And you'll notice I'm really taking my time and going slow. That's one of the tricks when you're working with cardboard is to make sure that you really cover everything. Now, earlier in the video, when I had glued the fabric together, some of the top parts came apart where I didn't bother doing the hot glue because I knew I'm gonna put them on top of the mantle. You're never actually going to see the top of them. And I have ribbon as well on top of the heart so you can see past that. I mean, you actually have to take them down and hold them and look and most people aren't going to do that. but usually i really i'm a big you know i advocate to cover the edges of the cardboard really really well so you have nice clean seams because it makes it look you know it really takes your craft up a notch and people don't know it's cardboard it could be wood it could be ceramic and it just makes it look nice and finished so here's my thing i'm doing again with the bow to make it nice and flat i'm not going to tie a knot i'm using a little bit of extra burlap that i had left over from my wine bag from christmas and i'm going to glue it down in the center and then just you know pull it over to the side to make that loop i'm showing you a lot slower in this diy so you can see what i did and then do another dot of glue and do the same thing on the other side and it will give me a nice flatter bow that i can put the pearls on top of And then I take those little hearts and I cascade them down the side of my image. Now I also replaced the little like paper clipboard metal piece at the top there. I made this with the idea thinking it would hold like the picture of your loved one. You could hang anything there you want of course, but I'm not gonna stage it that way at the end because I do want you to see the craft in its completed state, but that is what it's kind of for. And lastly, I am adding some of the Dollar Tree lace on the top and the bottom to give it a nice romantic touch. And we're all done. And I love the way that this one came out. If you enjoyed today's video and had fun, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and comment. I love reading your comments. It is the best part of YouTube. And as always, until the next video, Breathe deep, fret not, and do things that make you happy.